Hello, Victoria Bean. Can you read Psalm 137? We sure can. Sure can. <laughs> it was getting too hot for the sounds. I'm telling you. T-Man too real. What to do? Yeah, let's get a couple of people back in here, man. Alright. Say more likes, attract more viewers. Y'all hit the like button. So it's somebody wanna uh they was mad, I guess they were mad about the last lie. <laughs> Upset that righteousness going for it. Praise y'all almighty, y'all holy y'all. That righteousness going for it. He said uh he said first Enoch fifty three. <laughs> they ain't wanna hear that. First Enoch fifty three. It's something in that right there. I was going to bring you some people on the live. I was going to bring up, man. Hopefully they can come back and find. Y'all mark it what it do. Praise the almighty Yah. Yeah, this page, this page ain't. This page is not like the other page. You know, they kind of got me shadow banned on this page. The other page, they let me get more followers. Yeah. We back. Ted's best, that's a lie. That ain't true. You can't make up somebody who never died. <laughs> you can't lie on them. So that's where y'all messed up at. By Enoch never perishing, he he's still here. So he's... He's bringing, he's teaching us stuff that cannot be taught by. He's teaching stuff that can't be taught by nobody. But him. But him. Alright, we on a new page, y'all. So, kind of work with me a little bit. <coughs> Alicia Zion. Okay, I got you though. Yeah, I know uh I know God is poor. Yeah, they, they they do that sometimes. They they wasn't that bad about it recently, but yeah, it just started it just started back up with that. Y'all yeah, to say we back, we back in that thing. I had to get a couple of you guys caught back up, strength, man. Yeah. You see, they drop. You see, they drop my my views though. You see, they drop my view. Shadow band page. Yeah, they got the shadow band page right here. All right, so since it's just, since we up here, we gonna learn. <laughs> we ain't gonna stop because they shut that page down. You gotta understand, things like that are gonna happen <coughs> when the sinners are mad. The sinners are upset. So the shadow band in our pages as well. <coughs> it's all good though, man. We doing our part. Let's just let you know we doing our part, man. It's still that's still a lot. That's a lot of people though. That's that's more than it was the last time I went live on this page. Now if I go live in the daytime, they let it pop off. I go live in the daytime, they let me pop off. But <laughs> I go live at night with this page. Now these are them real servants, and uh, you can look at them. You can look at them thirty, and you gonna see us up in there. Yeah, you gonna see. 
And in Baltimore, we ain't follow, following each other on this page, but I just follow you now. Yeah, okay, we in here. Cool. All right, Enoch 53. Let's finish reading. My eyes saw a very deep valley with open mouths there. All who dwell on the earth, the sea, and the islands will bring gifts and presents and signs of homage to him. But that very deep valley will not become full. And their hands commit lawless deeds. And the sinners devour all who they lawlessly oppress. Yet the sinners will be destroyed from the face of the earth. From the face before the face of Yah Almighty. And they will be banished off the face of his earth. And they will perish forever and ever. For I saw all of the angels of punishment. Abiding there. Preparing all the instruments of Satan, of Satan. And the angel of peace who went with me. I asked him. Who are they preparing these instruments for? Who are they preparing these instruments for? And he said to me, they prepare these for the king's. And for the mighty of this earth, that they may be destroyed. And after this, the righteous and the chosen one will cause the house of his congregation to appear. And from now on, they will no longer be hindered in the name of Yah Almighty. See, Yehudi Yah was basically, basically bringing this forth to, of after this was supposed to be read after I got banned. After this, the righteous and the chosen one will cause the house of his congregation to appear. As I'm collecting you righteous folk right now. And from now on, they will no longer be shadow banned. <laughs> they will no longer be held back. They will no longer be held down. In the name of Yah Almighty. And all these mountains. Will not stand as the earth. Before his righteousness. But the hills. Will be as the fountain of water. And the righteous will have rest. From the oppression of sinners. <laughs> Y'all know what it feel. If you follow me. And you praise y'all almighty. You know what it feels like to be oppressed by sinners. You do. Jordan y'all salute. Jordan y'all what it do. If you follow me. And the instructions of y'all almighty. As a righteous person. You know what it feels like to be oppressed by sinners. Yeah you in this with me. <laughs> they talking about me. They talking about you. Yeah, you see all the you see all the slander that go forth. They talking about me. They talking about Yah. They talking about you. They talking about Yah. They speaking against you. They speaking against Enoch. They, they people just don't get it. They don't even get it. They don't even get it. Look at Willie Bird, silly ass. Look at silly ass Willie Bird here. Nobody paid for your sin. I paid for my own sin, Willie Bird. Guess what? I'm not a sinner anymore. You should. You should think your ways, Willie. And stop being a sinner. Because long as you are a sinner, the wages of sin is death. TikTok sinners. Or make it easy on yourself and repent. Be accountable for your sins. I'm here to teach you, Willie. I'm teach you, but you got to be willing, Willie. You have to be willing. I'm not teaching no inconsiderate person anything. Go about your way if you're not willing. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm not dwelling with sin. I'm not dwelling with that. 
Have some accountability. Because if somebody wrecked into your truck, you will want them to pay for the damages. That is what we call accountability. Because by them believing somebody died for their sins, they think that the damages have already been paid for. And you won't get any <laughs> reconciliation. You won't. If you ain't down with y'all alone, you can haul ass and deal. All right. Sacrifice an animal on life. Says who? Your sinning ass? I'm not following your instructions. I follow my God. And if he told me to do that, I would. Why don't you drink some gasoline? <laughs> Nicky Mirage. <laughs> drink some gasoline and not die. <laughs> Why don't you do that, sinner? That's what your New Testament say. Say y'all can pick up scorpions. Y'all can heal the sick and you can drink poison and not perish. I want to see one of you sinners. One of you New Testaments do that. I got a thousand dollars for you if you can accomplish it and not perish. If you perish, then that's that's day. That, that was on you. You believed in JC, not me. I wouldn't do that foolish shit. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I would not do that dumb ass shit that said in, in Mark. That's dumb. But yeah, you foolish sinners ain't gonna do it neither because y'all don't believe in JC. You are just hiding behind your unaccountable sins. Stay away from my idolatry. That's what, see, that's throughout the whole, all the commands of the Most High, throughout the commands of Yah Almighty, the one you hear the most is stay away from idols and idolatry. Do you, can you Christians even give a definition of idolatry? <laughs> y'all so lost in y'all sins and so in depth and praying to wood and stone that y'all don't even know what idolatry is. Can you even, can a Christian show me what idolatry is? I don't think y'all can. <laughs> Same time, you carrying a whole cross on your back. Same time, you got a whole cross on your chain. Wow, the audacity. You guys need to look up what idolatry means, first of all. And if you have any consideration for your God that gave the commandment, you would never flirt with idolatry, sinners. The way you guys think. The way you guys think, man, that's wild. TikTok sinners. Idolatry is praying to any image. Okay. That in the heavens above or in the earth beneath, anybody dead, any dead person, spirits or anything. What do you guys do? JC died. You don't see the idolatry in that? Come on, man. What are you guys doing? You don't see the idolatry in that. Come on, man. Even the cross. The cross is one of the biggest idols ever. Why do you think the KKK was burning them? <laughs> Come on, man. Why do you think they ain't here now? Praise y'all almighty for the wonderful elect counselor. Praise y'all almighty. Y'all quiz seven. Salute. Now, what if, I mean, what if, do you meet God? What would you say? I, what you mean? I'm his representative. What you What you talking about? I talk to my God daily. I don't do, <laughs> I'm not doing anything out of his eyesight, sinner. What's wrong with you guys' mind, man? Y'all think y'all are not in the sight of the almighty? <laughs> his eyes are innumerable. He sees everything that you even form in your thoughts, sinner. Come on, man. Y'all better stop limiting the creator. I don't know what y'all think going on here. My consideration will never stoop that low. Never. Everything that I do is in the sights of the almighty. 
And I have already, I didn't know, me and my God, we, we already got to understand. I'm following whatever he say. Big period behind that. So if you can show me anything that I'm doing that he, that go against anything that he say, guess what? I'm going to correct myself. I'm going to correct myself, sinners. That's what you guys are supposed to be doing. He sent me to be an example to you. But y'all want to believe in dead characters and people who never existed. Y'all want to have no accountability for your sins. And you want to test the patience of y'all almighty. You ain't got no excuses now. You have someone who is before you following the instructions of the almighty with great delight and high consideration. <laughs> yes, it's happened. It's been going on for over a decade now. Yes, <laughs> for over a decade now. And I've met Thousands on thousands of people who have came through my path. So it's, I have wonderful impacts and there's and, and there have been talks of judgment. So. Y'all almighty words are perfection and they never fail. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all got up out that request box fast. I was going to bring you on up. Yeah, somebody, people like saying stuff with, with uh, profiles with no pictures. It's always the sinners. Yeah, because there's only two people in the world. Righteous or sinners? <laughs> sinners and righteous. There's only two kind of people in the world. You pick your side, you're going to be on some. Righteous or wicked? Which one you are? You the wicked witch? <laughs> you a wicked witch? All right, then. Stay on that side, wicked witch. Don't come here trying to oppress me. We don't want to hear that shit. Find you something else to do. Find something else to do. You want to oppress a righteous person. You got to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for that at the day of accountability and for and like every hour you oppress me, you get a whole year of torment. You sinners don't know that. Every hour of oppression, you get a whole year of torment. So, so shit. Run it up for yourself. <laughs> Run it up for yourself. You don't make me none. My bad, Yahoo Day. My bad. Y'all owe to y'all. I wasn't trying to pull you up. Which one of y'all want to get in the box? Go on and explain. Bring, bring your explanations up here. If you come up here with all that talking crazy and cussing, you're getting kicked off. Explain your stance if you think I'm wrong. Cause <laughs> so why isn't Jesus the son or the Messiah? Many of them, shit. Can you show me? Can, can one of y'all, any one of you sinners, Show me where did he fulfill any prophecy or what prophecy is talking about him. We that's that's what we wait. Is the year ten a thousand beloved king? Yeah, send me, put that scripture up there in, uh, at humble servant of y'all. Put that scripture in there. For God said, I am the way and the truth. And he ain't say that. God ain't said that. <laughs> JC said that down, that lie. <laughs> no one comes through the Father except through me. He trying to be me. That's not a lie. You can't get to, if you, if you don't follow the counselor, you're not going to, you're not going to receive righteousness. If you don't follow the teachings that I'm bringing forth. And the, and the and Enoch, listen to Enoch. You're, you're, you're done. <laughs> you don't follow righteousness. Big, big fan. Big fan. You want to come up and talk? You want to come up and talk? You got enough. Uh, you got enough followers. You can definitely come up and talk. Big Fagan, Big Fagan. 
We can add you can ask me questions and I can answer you. I find it funny that all the ones disputing you accept what is passed to them through the church. Right. <laughs> they accept that. Church on every corner. People in there going in the church getting shot up and gunned down. And they don't question why the, why they ain't being protected. They don't question <laughs> why that the world is so wicked. Y'all got thousands of churches in, in one city. And y'all city wicked as fuck. Come on, man. Y'all stop. Y'all not going to please. I'm going to hold your ass accountable. I'm going to hold you accountable. You ain't finna get no lies and no bullshit by on me. Y'all bullshitting, sinners. The churches is fucked up everywhere. All of them. And them pastors ain't teaching y'all nothing. Come on, man. Don't play with me. We're going to speak about what it is, especially the black community. That's why we the lowest nation of people on earth. And the church got all the money. Y'all ain't doing nothing with the money. Living lavish and fucked up lifestyle. Not helping nobody or nothing. The most high say feed the poor, give to the poor. The needy, the destitute. Shit, that's supposed to be natural. Y'all ain't doing that natural. Y'all charge for the watch children. How the hell are you going to charge to do daycare expenses in the church? And y'all supposed to teach our people how the mother and father their own children. <laughs> yeah, you, you people have been duped. And you sinners have allowed this to happen to yourselves. I can't feel bad. I can't feel bad. We got people out here to teach you righteousness. Well, me and my followers. And you want to fight and argue against us. And then you'll go pay for some daycare fees at a church that you pay your tithes to. And you ain't learned nothing. You didn't even know Enoch had 72 wings and never died. <laughs> The joke's on you, sinner. You still a sinner. Those who follow me after a month, they're no longer a sinner. They probably ain't don't last that long. They might be not a sinner the next day. I change lives for real. And it's impacting throughout the earth. Right now, the earth is shaking on my behalf. TikTok sinners. Ever people with hundreds of thousands of followers. Damn near half a million followers speaking on me. <laughs> Mad and upset with how I believe and teach. There's millions of false prophets out here. But for some reason, this one man right here got everybody upset with the words of accountability and obedience. With the words of accountability and obedience. <laughs> this man right here got everybody upset. Because y'all are sinners and y'all are unaccountable and y'all are not willing to serve the forever one like you say you is. No, I ain't. Can't none of y'all prove nothing about me false. I ain't nothing about me false. My God words are perfection. Step up if you want to do that. Step up if you want to do that. Yeah, you know it sounds like some sinners. He said, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> you can, so he, you can tell he a fool. He got his, his his profile is a lie. His profile, yeah, Jesus is Baal. Well, I agree with that. Jesus is Baal, Baal. So send an ass up out of here. Yeah, they don't want to talk about the Book of Enoch. Yeah, why not? Because the Book of Enoch talks against the sinners. All right, let's read uh, First Enoch fifty eight. First Enoch fifty eight. First Enoch 58, page 263, if you got the 54 book. <laughs> dude said, remember, we got, we got, uh, rent due. There's other things to worry about. Shit, my, my, y'all almighty, my provider, we good. Y'all almighty is my provider. We're good. We ain't nothing better to worry about than the perfection of y'all almighty. You crazy as hell. Let me teach you something. Let me teach y'all son of something today. Enoch 58. Blessed are you, 
You righteous and chosen ones. If your ass is a sinner and you're wicked, I'm not talking to you right now. If you're a sinner and wicked, I'm not talking to you right now. This ain't for you. Blessed are you, you righteous and chosen ones. For your lot will be glorious. And the righteous will be as the light of the sun. And the chosen ones will be in the light of continuous life. And the days of the righteous, their life will be unending. And all the days of the holy will be without number. Y'all days ain't going to come. There's, it's not going to be an end to your days if you're righteous. The days of the righteous will be unending. What Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 21 says. <laughs> the same thing. Perfection. Perfection. If you are righteous, you will live and not perish. Praise y'all almighty for his perfection. All right. They will seek the light and find righteousness with Yah Almighty. There will be peace to the righteous in the name of the perpetual Yah. And after this, it will be said to the holy in heaven that they should seek out the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of faith, for it has become as bright as the sun on earth and the darkness is past. And there will be a light that never ends. This is talking about after he darkened the sun, moon, and the stars. <clears throat> after he darkened the sun, moon, and the stars, he's going to bring that light up from among that darkness. All right. For the, for the, it has become bright as the sun on the earth and darkness is past. And there will be a light that never ends and they will not come to a limit of days. The most high going to give us no limit on our days. It's going to be endless. <laughs> we will. He's going to upgrade us to endless life. Come on, man. First Enoch 58. If you ain't got the book Enoch. This ain't for you sinners. All right. For darkness will have first been destroyed. And the light of uprightness will be established forever before y'all almighty. Come on, man. You better look at that light. You better look at that light. I'm trying to tell you. I saw your comment. It was disrespectful. We don't care about the New Testament. Who are you to judge, says Grandma Space. Shit, I'm a righteous man to judge. You see, what you mean? Who am I to judge? And you'll take your you'll take your ad down to a courtroom and let a judge judge you for a traffic ticket. Shut up. Sinner. I ain't I'm a righteous man. I ain't no sinner. That's why I can talk to you about your sins and tell you to turn away from them. Don't die in your sins. If you do that, you're foolish. You don't have no care for yourself. Yep, son of the world creator. If you believe Isaiah is 9 and 6 is Jesus, come prove it. Come on alive and talk about it, sinner. Come on alive and talk about it, sinner. You righteous, but you reject the New Testament. Come on alive and talk about it. You got 26,000 followers. Come talk about it. Yeah, I'm righteous and I reject the New, reject the new Testament. And I reject J.C. Yahusha, Yahusha, whatever name you call him. I reject the New Testament and its idol God. What's up? What's up? All right, we got somebody with more followers. I am used by God. Be respectful, because it don't matter how many followers you got. Be respectful, man, and don't be disrespectful. And we can we can talk. All right. I just added you on. Hey, what's going on, bro? So, um, so I see this. Uh, so let me ask you, um, your, your, um, your teachings. So your teachings um, about Jesus, and I'm just asking a question, my brother. I'm not coming. I'm coming very, very, very respectful because I respect. Yes, absolutely. Um, so let me ask you. Um, I seen on here where you got Jesus alive, Jesus not the Son of God. Um, <laughs> thank you for going back 
you who believe in him are sinners. Enoch never died. Enoch lives forever. If you would, if you explain that to me, uh, you know, if you don't mind. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, so, yeah. So, Enoch, you, do you know anything about Enoch? You want me to give a rundown to him? I want you to give me a rundown. All right, cool. All right, Enoch. Righteous man. All right. The, the first man to ever, to ever write anything. All right, let's. We're gonna go to the book of Jubilees. Uh, it's in this book right here. You probably don't have it, but if you, do, I would, I would encourage you to purchase this. Okay. All right, it's called the Fifty Four Book Apocrypha. It's on Amazon. We read out of this. It has a lot of the books that were stolen from the Bible, and we talk about the words that were actually hid, been hidden from us, so that we can know the hidden secrets and the things that haven't been revealed until this time. So we're going to read from Jubilees, chapter 14. And uh, Jubilees is, no, well, Jubilees, chapter 4, my bad. Jubilees, chapter 4. Page 209. And I'm, I'm going to start at verse 17, and this is what it says. All right. <clears throat> Enoch, Enoch was the first among all the men who were born on the earth, who learned writing and knowledge and wisdom. And he wrote down all of the signs of heaven according to their order of their months in the scroll that men might know the seasons of the years according to the order of their separate months. And he was the first to write a testimony. And he testified to the sons of men among the generations of the earth. And he recounted the weeks of the Jubilees and made them known to the days of the years. And he set in order the months and recounted the Sabbaths of the years as we made them known unto him. We the angels and the almighty Yah. And what was and what will be, Enoch saw in the vision of his sleep. And as it will happen to the children of men throughout their generations until the day of judgment, Enoch saw and understood everything. And he wrote his testimony and he placed the testimony on earth for all children of men and for their generations. So the, the whole Bible came forth through this man, Enoch. So when Moses went up and saw the burning bush, the burning bush was Enoch. Okay. So let me ask you your position. So are you a teacher or like what do you do? I'm a counselor, man. I, I, I teach I teach every every aspect of life, honestly. Um relationship, uh friendship. I got you. Business. If you got a job, I can start you a business. Uh you know, if accountability about your sins, if you have sins, if you're a sinner, you've been a sinner, have trouble with your sins. If you're dealing with uh, demonic spirits, uh, you've been oppressed, you know, all, all every category I am sent to deal with. And I was also spoken about to come so that people can know who I am when I came and they could seek me out to be a path of righteousness and a shoulder to lean on. Mm -hmm. May I ask what state you're in, my brother? Nah, you can't ask me that. Okay, well, I'm in Tennessee. It, there ain't no problem. I'm in Tennessee. Yeah. You know, I'm in Tennessee. And, uh, you know, I'm not hidden. I mean, I'm in on earth. I feel you. I respect that. So, <laughs> it's all good. So, look, uh, so check this out. So basically, the, you know, the only reason, I, I thank you for letting me in. So I didn't, I didn't come in, you know, to Cause I'm on your live. I appreciate that. That's respect. And um, I, I didn't come in tonight asking a lot of questions, but I'm, I'm going to come back and I'm going to invite you 
um, over um, to my life as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, whenever you're ready for me to come over, I come over. Uh, I explain, you know, what's going on here, man. And, you know, you just give me a good date and let me know. Uh, I go live on my live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, so, Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday, and Friday. Now, it, now, sometimes, you know, I skip a week and stuff like that, but yeah. Uh, most, for the most part, you on consistently Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did I answer everything to, you know, what you. Well, absolutely. You, you, you made, um, you know, for what you for believe. And, you know, I think we all have a belief system and we all have what we consider is facts uh, from the book that you read and the book that I read. Uh, we consider it as facts. Now, the, the issue is. I may consider something a fact and you may consider something fact, but then we have the truth and the truth is going to prevail over our personal facts or opinions. So now rather if you, if you believe um, that Jesus is a liar and he's not the son of God, then ultimately it's going to prove out. Is it going to be truth or false? Time's going to tell. No, and that that's true too. The time is also Absolutely. time gonna tell. That's, that's a quick solution though. Was the solution that's that's the the fastest and quickest solution to you know so, so people don't have to die and they can learn so they before they perish or learn before the bad things happen to them because we all we brothers man look if you came from Adam I want you to live I don't want you to perish so it doesn't matter your race. And nationality, but if you are black and uh, the children of Israel, I, you know I'm speaking to you so that you won't perish in your sins. You know, because I used to be a sinner as well. So this ain't. I don't know nobody personally. I don't want people to fail personally. I want people, everybody, to have high consideration for our. Right. But what makes it simple to understand what's because you said facts, but there's something that's bigger than facts, and it's the words of y'all, my. What he says is perfect. It goes. It's called perfection. So if the Most High said with his mouth, "This is my son," and this is this is who I'm dealing with, that's what goes. You shouldn't even argue against that. It don't matter if Paul says something. It don't matter if Johnny said. I don't care about my feelings. And I don't care about what I think. Nobody, Absolutely. Knows. nobody Absolutely. can measure to the perfection of the words of the Creator. So we Absolutely. Read that's what stay in there, cause I don't care nothing about what I'm thinking. When it come to that, I don't care nothing about what nobody thinking. If that's what it say. That's what I'm gonna do. That's law. That's correct. Yeah. That's the law. Thoughts for everybody. Thoughts when it come to the words of y'all Almighty. That's perfection, and we finna do that. And that's how we settle all of our differences. Now, if you don't want to do that, that means you don't like the Almighty, and you don't care to do what He says. That's what we're supposed to meet. And right. Um, of accountability. So can I ask a question? Um, just real quick. I don't, I, don't, I know you're, you're a busy man and I don't want to take up all your time. I want to make this somebody else a chance and so I can do some other things. But I want to ask you a quick question before I get off. Um, you say that you're, you're um, would you define sin for me? Uh, disobedience to the creator of all things. Okay. Now, you say that you are sinless, correct? Well, I say that I'm not a sinner anymore. I used to be a sinner. Absolutely. I I, yeah, I was a Christian, and I used to believe that somebody died for my sins, and I used to do things, you know, and after I do the things, I would be convicted, and I would feel like, like shit, and then, you know, God made me feel bad about it, but I didn't know that 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 the path of righteousness could be obtained. I thought that nobody could follow the commands. And then why were you convicted? Huh? I was why wrong. were you convicted? There was sin that I was doing. I mean it's but it, this was okay. By convicted God he, he cared for me and he wanted me to learn from my way. Uh-huh. My mistake. I could have died in my sin. I okay. could yeah. So go learn. ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, go ahead. I don't want to cut you off, brother. Yeah, so I, I, I stopped sinning. He showed me that look, if you follow what I say, I'm not going. He basically broke it down to me the simple terms. If you listen to everything I say, 
and don't put nobody before me. You're going to live and you're not going to perish. I'm not going to, basically, I'm not going to fuck you up. <laughs> if you don't, if if you mess around and put somebody, <laughs> if you put somebody before me or you provoke me to jealousy, mm -hmm. don't listen to me after you say you were going to listen to me. I'm going to fuck you up. Big, big period. So when he broke it to me down like that, he started showing me so many ways that he could. Man, I ain't want no problems with that. I say, well, what's up? What I need to do? <laughs> Forget all this stuff that I was doing. What do I need to do to be in good standing with you? Well, let me tell you. Well, I got to say this right here. One thing I will say that um, this is respectful and I like that, I'm, you know, we're sharing with whatever individual believe. I believe in being respectful. And that's good. This is good that we can have a cordial conversation. Yeah. Oh. And, 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 and that's the best way to do it because quite naturally, people going to believe how they believe and right. it's respectful. Um, and that and that's quite natural. So what I want to do, my brother, um, I want to um, whenever I get ready um, to do that, I'm going to let you know. I do. I'm, I used to do a lot of online on here, but I do it elsewhere as well. So when I do, I'm going to have you come over. Um, we're just going to have a discussion. Not coming over there. Same way. Same way. Respect over here. I'm going to be respectful over okay. there. Same. Absolutely. Same mm -hmm. way. Um, so what I'll do. I'll give you an inbox. I'll hit you a follow, and I'll give you an inbox um, whenever I get ready to do it and give you a heads up that way you can. And then I'll also tell you about the topic that I want to discuss with you. Okay. That way, you are, you know, we're not trying to bring you in where you know what you're talking, what we're discussing about. Yeah. And then if it's something else, other words you want to discuss, we'll talk about that too. All but, right. brother, let me tell you, man, I appreciate you allowing me to come on thank you a platform uh this is by far one of the most respectful that i've been in i've been in with some wolf man and then you want they want to give me man they want to give me our so, people after us man our people actually they don't they just they just want to just take your head off and i i, I ain't gonna be honest with you i've been attacked i'm being attacked so harshly from so many different ways too so but you know man look we all we haven't been around these we all have we all come from different walks, but the creator created us all. So just the best thing to do is listen so you can understand what's going on. The disrespectful people, the inconsiderate people, you can't talk to them. So, you know, you might see some of my video, me going off on folks and stuff. It's because they've been so nasty to me, man, and so disrespectful. So I do match energy, but no, nah, I don't want no problem with my people, man. I don't want no we can talk about this. And I know that people are going to think differently. I'm not upset with people for not knowing what I know because I was sent to teach people what I know. And I, I was told that they was not going to listen to me. So the prophecies are being fulfilled. And what God told me has been happening perfectly in my life. So I'm not angry. I just keep going and doing what I do, man. And, and, and the people who really love the creator, they're going to listen to me and hear me out. And they're going to understand because the creator is going to show them and the people Absolutely. who hate the creator, they're going to hate me. They're going to, the people who hate accountability because he showed me accountability is not a religion. Right. Either you got it or you don't. Right. Right. Now there's true of it's not. That's right. right that's well, well, my brother, I appreciate you, man. Uh, and let's get together. I'll certainly make sure I put that follow. All right. um, and, and then we'll get together on it. Let me go ahead and hit that follow now for I won't forget. All right, we'll get together on it, and I'll be in touch with you, man. All right, man, have a great night. You Peace. guys um, have a good night as well. Peace. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I believe my whole life. I was recently and I was told about this. Yeah, so when it first came to me, it, it happens like that. It's actually shocking, man, but you'll be knowing the whole time of the things that's been wrong going on in church and the things that have not been clear with you throughout time. God always been with us, even in our, our foolishness. He always been showing us things. We just chose not to listen because we were taught this certain way. So when he actually shows you yourself, you have to pay attention to that. This is no coincidence that you came to my life. There's no coincidence that you showed up on here. And that we're on this page right now. It all happened for a reason. My other my other life got my blocked. 
So you probably come from this live and we ain't going to even see the other live. So things that happen the way they should for a reason. So, man, the most high, you give him the glory for what he do. All right. Hallelujah. Praise y'all almighty. All right. Who's the originator of this culture? I mean, everything that's coming forth through me comes forth through the spirit of Yah Almighty. You know, I the most high use me to, to, to bring forth the praise Yah Almighty, you know, to let it know that it came from the council. But that's saying hallelujah. Hallelujah, I always been here. You know, to say it in English and all the way through, that's praise Yah Almighty. So Yah Almighty brought that forth through the counselor who was before you. So we're going to give our God high consideration. That we're everything that happened forth to here tonight, that's that's Yah. This ain't planned. This wasn't scheduled. This just happened like this. And uh you're learn you're gonna learn every live you're gonna learn. It's guaranteed. You're gonna learn something you never knew before. And if you open your mind to be willing to learn, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna increase and it's gonna change your life forever. And you need it. We all need this, all right. Right. A B D <laughs> come on man, I'll add you on. Just be respectful. I'm done trying to wake people up. They are stupid and lost. I'll let them suffer. I mean, I I, I I see how you feel on that, dog. All this oppression and shit, they'll make you feel like that. So I understand. I understand what you mean on that. How you doing, my brother? What it do? Hey, not much, man. I was arguing earlier with a guy that comes on here talking about there's no God. And uh, I just wanted, you know, to applaud you. And I wanted you to talk to that guy because I, I got the guys like brainwashed and stuff. You know, he's talking about there's no God. He don't believe no devil, no, you know, good stuff. It's just like, and he's from Africa. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Africa, too. Like, how can you not understand this? Like, they're supernatural around you, you know? Yeah, but, yeah he's he uh he's he's probably mad. He's more so mad. Some things right. personally, yeah. Some people have vendettas against the creator. But exactly. that's what the word called sinners. Sinners are people who are enemies of the creator. Yes, sir. Now, you know, we all have sinned, and we can learn how to get out of sin by following instructions. So don't never call yourself a sinner because you're probably right. enemy of the creator. Yep. Man, you look in yourself in the mirror and see that the creator, you can see the image of the creator. and the Exactly. Thing That's what I was trying to tell him, but the guy goes off on you, and he, he even blocked me just trying to tell him, like, hey, I mean, who created you? He said, a man. And I told him. Who created that man? He, he's keep on saying a man, a man, a man. And I was like, who created that man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't come here by yourself. You yeah, know what he, I'm saying? Mad, so. even, even the mind that you think uh, that you like smart or you think like you're intelligent or knowledgeable, who gave you that mind to think? You know what I'm saying? Who see, gave you the mind to think? That's not, see, I'm going to give, I'm going to give the praise a bit. Yeah, that's who, that's who put this one up here, you know? So. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I appreciate you and I applauded you that you wrote here that says Jesus is not the son of God. I truly understand. God cannot have a, a son. None of that. You know, he's supernatural. He takes care of all of us, all natural stuff in this world, the universe. You know what I'm saying? But some people are just brainwashed, man. I'm 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 really, you know, happy for you doing this. You know, I, I wish I could come here on here every day. You know what I'm saying? Just to listen to you, to talk yeah, to you, we get do. some knowledge. It's every you know what I'm saying? Friday, so. No, we've been on we've been on schedule with it for one. Sometimes I skip a week. Right. right. I just followed you. I just followed you right now. You know what I'm saying? All so right. yeah. Right, I'm gonna follow you back, man. Yeah. Uh yeah, the most high he do, he actually does have a son though. Um uh, not, you know, when I say son, it's a nation of people. I'm gonna read Right, that. right. Yeah, I'm gonna read that to you. Okay. Exodus chapter four. Mm hmm Verse twenty two. All right, this is his this is his word. So I like mm -hmm. to, you know, whatever he says is perfect. So I don't right. know. 
speaking nothing about nobody that ain't him speaking. All right, Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. All right. It says, and you shall say to Pharaoh, mm -hmm. this is what Yah Almighty said. Israel is my firstborn son. So I say unto you, mm -hmm. let my son go so that he can serve me. Mm -hmm. But if you refuse to let him go, I will kill your son, your firstborn. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically what this is, the, our the children of Israel, the ancestors of the Bible, they mm -hmm. were Egypt.